Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Wake Forest Demon Deacons and the Florida Gators. There's a look, Dick, at the starting lineups. I like the matchup at the point guard position. The floor generals, the coaches on the floor. I think the point guard who plays the best will lead his team to victory. Tonight, we've got two very talented power forwards going head-to-head. -head. Number 13 makes it clear who's the leader out there. The player will be guarding tonight is also a tremendous leader, Brad. This has potential to be one of the great matchups of the year, baby. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Buckle up, folks. Here we go. Play ball, baby. Play ball. The zebra tosses it up. And we're underway. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Duncan picks up the foul. Well, here's a look at the team tempo for each team. You take a look at this fast versus slow, I guess, always makes for an interesting matchup. You know, it really does, Brad. Slow tempo teams like to limit possessions and really use the clock. He'll go to the line. Pushes it up. Is this defense ever quick to recover? It's core conditioning, Brad. For the bucket, foul ball. A chance for two. Shot. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. They've got him trapped here, Dick. Hey, they got him in some trouble, Brad. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Brad. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft is Falcon, fading away, passing the ball. the feed. He's in the clear. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Eludes the trap there. For two, he hacked him. He is going to the line. First one is no good. It's the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Dick, you've got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestle. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. No luck from in close. The shot's off target.
Working it around the perimeter. Turnaround jumper. He grabs the board. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. The Demon Deacons coaching staff would like for the team to slow it down. He's been pretty animated on the sideline, pleading with his guys to slow it down. It doesn't seem like an up-tempo game is what they're after at this point. Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Second shot, no good. The Demon Deacons usually employ that half-court style of play, wouldn't you say, Dick? Half-court teams really will rely on each other. They'll not get any easy baskets, so they basically got to execute offensively by really moving the basketball and setting some good screens. the shot clock tries for two the lane he can't let this guy have the uncontested shot he just got to dig in and play some D everybody into the act right now and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going it's that what makes college so special the enthusiasm of the cheerleader as the mascot everybody involved he hits his first Major. The Gators want to up the pressure here, Dick, and I think they're going to change the tempo of the game with their defense. You know, it's a great decision, Brad, if you have the right personnel to play full-court defense. Richard checks in for the first time. I tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. to record his first minutes. He provides a nice push offensively and defensively for this puck. He'll visit the charity strike. Takes the shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. Banks receives the pass. They've got him right where they want him, Dick. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass up. Go down his shot block. Can't make the easy one. Humphrey handles the feed. Brewer may have escaped one there. Fed the low block. The frustration right there. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, oh, you got to use that screen. Hey, how do dribbling use the screen is important in a pick and roll situation. Number 25 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. Number 10 to the line for three. Makes it. Gets the second shot. Gets the third. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. Great pass out of the trap, Brad. They've got him trapped. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. Looking for a good shot. Baseline jumper. Jumper won't go. Go 
Oglesby receives the pass. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Horford checks back into the ball game. Yeah, I knew they couldn't leave him out for too long. He goes to the line. He hits the first. throws go. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Passes it out of the trap. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Buries the deuce. As we continue to track the game's tempo. Hey, Brad, that doesn't surprise me. The pace has been quite hectic. Look at that spacing. Strips him clean. The Gators with the push. Hodge handles the pass. For two. Up and in. Both teams looking to get things going here. The power forward gets the ball. Kicks it out. scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Number 30 makes the substitution back into the ballgame. Well, Brad, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of energy he comes with. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. Two teams are picking and choosing when they want to push the ball, Brad. Passes it out of the trap. Gave it up. With all sorts of time. He misses badly on that three-point attempt. On the dribble, gives it up. on the shot clock. Good rebound. Great position on a rebound. Good block out. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. On the outside. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. over from the help side. We've got a timeout, Dick, and I'll be back in a moment. That's a good T.O., baby. Wait, wait.
crowd begins to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Number 44 handles the pass. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you what, thing, Brown, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Number 44 with the defensive foul. Second personal foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, the coaching staff has expected it to be evenly matched up across the board all night long. But you wonder, who's going to be the first one to throw the punch? Aaron Andrews, always close to the action. Got him up. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon, NBN. With a deep pass. They've got a player spotting up on the tree. On the dribble, gives it up. These fans are thrilled. What a reaction. What a response. What enthusiasm. Two. Off the rim and no good. Way off target. Comes up empty. High stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista Club for shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Gave it up. Lots of room. Off the mark. Tries for two. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. The point guard receives the pass. They'll work it around the arc. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Too physical. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boys going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. On the dribble, gives it up. They get an open look for three. A lopsided effort on the board. These kids are monsters underneath. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Mitchell handles the feed. In and out. Number 30 handles the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Ten on the shot clock. And there's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. A little half-court action, a little fast breaking, Brad. As a result, we have a balanced tempo reading. There's a bad pass right to the defender. And now in transition, going the other way. Goes up for two. Up and in. Up and inside. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Ten 
on the shot clock. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, passing the block. for a good shot. Ten seconds to get it off. For two, whistle for the foul. Steps to the line for the first time. Gets the first shot. Gets two at the charity strike. Well, let's take a look at the tempo each team is going to try to set for this game, Richard. Well, whenever you have two teams looking to control the speed of the game, you need to keep your eye on how each team makes changes. Setting the tempo can be an advantage, but adapting can be just as important. Banks receives the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Ten seconds on the clock. The center gets the ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Coach has been pretty active over here on the sideline, providing some quality feedback to his players. I overheard him saying that he really likes the manner in which they've been playing. The up-tempo style is what they're known for and what they've been demonstrating so far. Don't look for that to change. That's, of course, Aaron Andrews, our correspondent on the sideline. The point guard with the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Escape the trap. He fouled him. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Tries for two. Up and in. Warner receives the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. There's the tempo for the game thus far. Well, Brad, as the meter indicates, the game has been pretty balanced in terms of tempo. Some short possessions and a few longer ones. Great anticipation defensively. Warner receives the ball. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The point guard receives the ball. Now the high screen. Off the rim and no good. Trying to go inside. Can't put it down. For the bucket. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. That's a 
crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. The small forward receives the ball. That trap could spell some trouble. Escapes some trouble and makes a pass up. Pull up jumper left side. Nope. The point guard with the ball. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Coach has been quite animated over here on the sidelines. It's all positive, though. He's pleased with the manner in which they're playing their up-tempo style. I overheard him saying that if this continues, he likes his team's chances. Guys? Our trusty sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews, keeping everyone on their toes there on the sideline. They look to get it to the inside. on the shot clock. Goldby is feeling it right now. Brady's on fire. The center gets the ball. Kicks it out. Open for a shot. The Gators have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The center with the ball. On the outside. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He takes the rebound. Long down court pass for two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Receives the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Up and in. Pushes it up. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Now trying to feed the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Noah handles the pass. Drives one from three-point land. Knocks it down. Handles the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket, obvious foul. Well, Dick, let's take a look at the bench performances so far. What do you think? I tell you, as a coach, the more you can get from your bench players, the better. Sometimes that's how you acquire a big lead. Games get interesting once your starters get tired, and it's time for the bench players to come in and be productive. This is the first. Second shot, good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. The Gators are up-tempo team, Dick. What are the components that make up a good up-tempo team? Up-tempo teams really like to get possession of that ball off the glass and fill the lanes quickly. They want to be able to create numbers to get a three-on-two, four-on-three, two-on-one advantage. At the end of the first half, the Gators lead by 11. 
revisit those points of emphasis, Dan. These guys have been doing a great job with the points. I emphasized at the beginning of the game. If they keep this up, they'll be fine at the end of the game. Okay, there you have it. One more half of basketball remains, and we'll see how the teams address these points of emphasis. Florida is killing the opposition on the glass in the first half. Hey, these kids know what it takes to win big games, Brad. If you can win the rebound and battle on any given night, you have a great shot of winning the ball game. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. That's a really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now, they're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. Gave it up, 10 on the shot clock. For two, perfectly executed. The power forward gets the pass. Good for two. Dick, the defense isn't doing a great job of positioning here. No, they're not, Brad. They're getting toasted on every turn. A little two-man action. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The small forward handles the pass. Trying to pack it inside. Tries for two. Foul charge. And a chance for a three-point play the old-fashioned way, as we say. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know what? For me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Goes up. Foul call. Well, Dick, let's take a look at the bench performances so far. What do you think? I tell you, as a coach, the more you can get from your bench players, the better. Sometimes that's how you acquire a big lead. Games get interesting once your starters get tired, and it's time for the bench players to come in and be productive. Makes the first shot. They are nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Makes those free throws count. Let's get back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Hey, dodge one there, Brad. They work the perimeter. He's all alone. The Gators have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. The Demon Deacons are definitely known for their slower style of play. When they do those types of things, Brad, they get into a rhythm. Everyone knows that rhythm is crucial for offensive success in basketball or for any sport for that matter. That's definitely a correlation. Up and inside. The land. Receives the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Baseline inbounds. He bombs from outside. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Puts up the jumper. The missed shot. Working it around the perimeter. T 
10 on the shot clock. He tries the three. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Dick, this move going to the basket is definitely a candidate for our Pontiac game-changing performance. Wow, Brad, that's a fantastic move. That may be our Pontiac game-changing performance. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the J. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Banks handles the feed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ten seconds to get it off. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. He hacked him. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. One well, of the keys to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The ball goes out of play. The offense sets up from the sideline. Defense taking away any open looks. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Man, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. The shooting guard with the ball. For the bucket, you gotta control yourself. He goes to the free throw line. Misses his first shot. Shots no good. He could not get more wide open. He misses from beyond the arc. The Gators in transition. The lane. There's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. That's a great indication of how frantic the pace has been, Brad. Ten seconds to shoot. Cross court. That's good defense there, Dick. Hey, Brad, despite being posted up, he was able to maintain Brad and be in position to block that shot. Outside. He shoots from downtown. You can't get away with that. He goes to the line for the first time. Well, the arc looked good.
The shooting guard takes the feed. Had a little trap really well there, Brad. The center with the ball. They're working around the perimeter. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Childress receives the ball. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. For two, you he hit the deuce and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Duncan handles the feed. Gave it up. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They go into the low block. Look at the offensive charge. So that one's going the other way. In place, Dick passes it out of the trap. Banks handles the feed. Buries it. Number three. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. on the shot clock. They'll work it around the arc. He gets him to commit the charge. He took one for the team, baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. Thanks, EA, our third member of our team and our sideline reporter, keeping us up to date with what's taking place behind the scenes and around the bench. Good job, EA. Humphrey handles the feed. Misses from long range. Number 30 handles the feed. On the dribble, gives it up. Two up and in. Number three, four, two. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Ten on the shot clock. Gave it up. Well, I think the coach is going to have to make some changes here, Dick. The players are starting to look really tired out there. Jumper won't go. As we continue to track the game's tempo. The tempo is definitely on the slower side. 
Something that works well for some teams and not so well for others. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. He tries the jumper, and it's in and out. What are some of the things that up tempo teams will look to do, Dick? These guys aren't afraid to force the issue, Brad. That's for sure. Talk about forcing the issue. These guys are at their best when possessions are short and the speed of play is frantic. Probably one of the most entertaining styles of play. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. With a good look. Questionable shot selection there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Humphrey handles the feed. Oh, that's charging. Great defense, Brad. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. Just keep on coming, baby. You have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. Looking for a good shot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He gets the rebound. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. Two teams who are picking and choosing when they want to push the ball, Brian. Moving it around the perimeter. Turnaround jumper. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Swanson receives the pass. Cross court. Looks at the three. Can't get it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnaround jumper. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. Cross court. Up for two. Foul call. He goes to the line, shooting two. First one, good. Misses the second. Pulls down the board. have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the bucket, the land. Jackson handles 
a feed. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He gets the board. On the outside. Childress handles the pass, knocked it down. Dick, this move going to the basket is definitely a candidate for our Pontiac game-changing performance. Wow, Brad, that's a fantastic move. That may be our Pontiac game-changing performance. Richard handles the feed for two. Up and in. And there's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. Two teams who are picking and choosing when they want to push the ball, Brad. Jackson receives the ball. They're working around the perimeter. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Gave it up. Brewer may have escaped one there. Trying to feed the low block. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Goes up for two. Was that beautiful or what? was ugly the start the bus moment is brought to you by State Farm the lane work the perimeter spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart whistle for the foul Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. That trap could spell some trouble. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Brad. He escapes the trap. That trap didn't scare him, Brad. For the bucket. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting critic, my friend. Pushes it up. Off the rim and no good. Green receives the ball. There's the tempo for the game thus far. That's exactly what I was thinking, Brad. The pace of this game has been remarkable. pass that's a foul number 42 
opportunity now for an easy one. He gets it to go. it in now in transition I tell you, he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box takes his jumper the demon Dickens have found a player who cannot seem to miss it that he's on fire and there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. These teams are selectively pushing the ball and looking for transition opportunities. They work the perimeter. He takes the open jumper. Missed the jumper. for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. What are your final thoughts regarding some of our points of emphasis earlier in the game, Nick? Brad, it's all about solid game plan. Teams who come prepared and know what the important points are will be successful more times than not. Having skilled players on your roster helps, but by no means is it mandatory. Playing within yourself and your abilities is what it's all about. We say it time and time again. Florida blows out their opponent. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale.